What up everybody, welcome back to the Martin Garden Crypto YouTube channel and today we have a very important video about the whole Ukraine situation and crypto because this is their pinned tweet of the official Ukraine account Stand with the people of Ukraine now accepting crypto donations, Bitcoin, Ethereum and Tether So this is their Bitcoin address and this is their ERC20 address and we will get into this in a bit because we are going to check it on the blockchain They are talking about an airdrop here and this is uh news because tomorrow will be the snapshot so the snapshot will be taken tomorrow on march 3rd at 6 p.m kiev time uh reward to follow so follow subsequent news um let's see at fedorov mikhailos um Twitter, he's the vice prime minister of Ukraine and the minister of digital transformation of Ukraine. And that is really interesting that they have uh, a ministry of digital transformation. But first, let's check the total amounts that have been donated. So, Thomas, you can check. Yeah, that. yeah. So, so, so as you see, you know, there has been a total received Bitcoin of 219 units. So you can see like there's a final balance, but what they're doing, they're just putting their Bitcoin to another wallet to secure it and use it. So they're already using the Bitcoin. And as you can see, when you're looking it up at, at, at CoinMark of CoinCago, when you fill in the BTC, and you put 220 BTC, you can see that there already almost has been like $10 million that has been donated in Bitcoin addresses. But what you're also seeing is that they're talking about an Ethereum and a USDT ERC20 address. So there are multiple ways to do donations to them. And as you can see right now, as we're refreshing a total value of two and a half mil. Two and a half mil, man. That's a lot combined with the Bitcoin. And over here, you can see seconds ago. So, so this really funny. Is yeah. you see like the the transactions are still pending. They're still pending on the blockchain. There are and, a lot and of donations. They, they are fresh. They are fresh from the press. And a lot of donations, small donations, but big donations also are being made. So it's actually beautiful to see that the crypto space is so supportive about this yeah, and that awesome. crypto can be utilized in this way yeah. to help people. Yeah. So that's, that's amazing, man. And if you can't, yeah, it's already this, you've seen yeah. two and a half mil, man, yeah. that's a lot. So if that's you want to help the situation, you can donate uh, to Ukraine directly just by using crypto. And that's amazing because on the blockchain, you can actually see that it's not a scam, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if we go to this guy's uh, Twitter page, we don't see any new updates about the whole snapshot airdrop situation. But <laughs> we <laughs> we found this website, and this website you can donate $3 by using Monobank, and you can just use Google Pay or your credit card for that. And this is a meme, I guess, just set up by this guy. And he says, send it's Putin funny. to Jupiter. So it's, it's just a joke to send the bloody dictator far, far away. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> but there's already uh, 2 million in here. And as you can see at the bottom of this page, uh, let's see if I can actually get that on screen. So it says Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine. And it, here it says, all collected funds will be used to restore the destroyed infrastructure of Ukraine. The account belongs to the state enterprise DIA. So stop war in the Ukraine. So this is actually legit. And yeah, you can also donate this way. Um, what I wanted to talk about as well is Ukraine DAO. So they actually uh got a lot of eve here and yeah maybe you could tell something about that <laughs> so, about the whole pussy riot thing <laughs> pussy riot baby i want to ride your pussy okay <laughs> no 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 so in moscow there's a band a russian feminist protest punk rock uh, art crew based in moscow so that's in russia yeah um so they're really like the whole situation they don't like putin they don't like the whole situation, so that's the whole reason they made this band. You know, they're feminists, they want to show what they stand for. Yeah. So they developed this DAO. They developed this, well, it's not really a DAO, but you can, it's more for donations. So you for can donors. see here the party, party host, Pussy Ride, Point Eve, 
And yeah, they accumulated 2,258 ETH. Yeah. So that's around 6.7 6 million mil. that's dollars. Good. That's a lot. So and a lot of you people go down all the way here. If you go down, uh, then here it says that. Wait, let me get that on screen. So you will get a token. You will get a yeah, token. Yeah, you'll, you'll get a love token. I don't love. know what this is all about. I don't know if they're actually going to develop into DAO. We'll see. Maybe, but anyway, maybe. It's, it's good. It's good that they that they that they've done this. Uh, and yeah, these are the women. So <laughs> yeah, big 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 shout out you to you guys. Them. Are awesome. It's like, amazing, especially doing that in freaking Russia. Like you have some balls. You have some big especially balls, especially for women. Like oh <laughs> my lord, it's it's absolutely insane. So you can read this as well. I don't think you can still uh, uh, place bits here. I've tried, but uh, I think it's over. But anyway. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff here, and I'm really happy to see the world of crypto actually being helpful in this whole situation because a lot of people are talking crap about Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, I'll get into that later as well because you know a lot of people are talking. Oh yeah, we we really have to uh, <laughs> ban crypto and so. And I'm like, man, but it's also helping a lot. So that's what it I kind of yeah. want to uh, show. So there is another initiative is the Unchain Fund. So Unchain Ukraine, crypto for Ukraine. And this is their Twitter. So they've launched a crypto native fundraising campaign to support Ukraine with humanitarian aid. Please retweet, etc., etc., etc. So you can read all about that over here. They also received a crypto punk. So yeah. a crypto punk was just donated to the Ukraine government's fundraising address by an anonymous collector. So that's really cool and here is their official website you have the donate button over here you have their socials and if you go down you can see it's supported by a lot in crypto so that's cool as well they have over two million raised already instant help so you can just press this help button and then you see all the wallet addresses you can donate to so uh, the binance smart chain ethereum etc etc et they have a lot they don't have bitcoin apparently so that's a funny side note. But anyway, <laughs> um, you can actually check if your funds will go to the right place. So be sure to read all of this stuff and yeah, donate something because why not? If you want the airdrop though, I don't know what they are going to airdrop, but then you have to donate to this address or this address. They could donate NFTs or maybe their own new digital currency. Who knows what they're going to donate? But this is the ad these are the addresses you have to donate to, so the official Ukraine ones, to actually be eligible for the airdrop, so that's not this. But anyway, all donations uh, over here are also legitimate because I've checked on the blockchain, and uh, this is the Ethereum one. Well, a lot of money over here, 200K. Uh, this is the Binance Smart Chain one, uh, 38K. Matic has like 6K. So yeah, it's legit. But there's also an easy way to donate your money to uh, these official addresses. You can just connect your wallet to <laughs> this is crazy. Uniswap. This is crazy. So that's really cool because Uniswap has been uh, so freaking, uh, you know, revolutionary in the, in the world, actually, by creating the decentralized finance sector. Without Uniswap, we, we wouldn't be here talking to you, I'm 100% sure. So Uniswap is actually being really epic and they have um look to ensure that everyone who wants to donate erc20 tokens to the ukrainian government uh I can do so we built an interface that swaps any token for <laughs> eth and then sends it directly to the ukrainian government in a single transaction it's amazing and it's actually already live so all of the links by the way are in the description below so donate.uniswap.org uh, slash swap and then you can actually do it so you can connect your wallet you can select the coin that you want to donate it will be trans it will be converted into ethereum you don't have to worry about that that will just happen and it will be sent to the ukrainian government address so if you check this address it's like 0x16 la 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 that's this one so uniswap made that happen so we are going to donate as well snapshot is tomorrow uh so that's a little fun thing as well because maybe we'll get something cool but yeah i'm definitely gonna donate something uh later today and the thing i also wanted to talk about still is the dollar is still 
uh, rising. So it's gaining uh, momentum and it's actually, yeah, it, it's, it's growing. So that is funny because, you know, uh, Bitcoin is also growing. So even though the dollar is getting stronger and stronger, Bitcoin is also gaining in dollar value. Uh, so we have seen that Bitcoin is actually decoupling from American stocks and, and, and other stuff the yeah. last couple of days. That, that's actually pretty interesting. Uh, so the use case of Bitcoin is now really a thing you have to worry about because it's getting kind of useful in real life. It's, it's, maybe this is like the first official thing happening that it's not speculation anymore, but that, it, that it's actually something that's valuable in this world. So it's crazy and you have to actually be it's very aware of that because the space is changing and it's the first time ever yeah. that it's decoupling like legitimately. It's actually decoupling from everything else. That's insane because everything is crashing except for Bitcoin and the dollar is rising in value and Bitcoin is rising. That's a first. So that's crazy. It's a very special moment. So if you think, oh, when am I going to buy Bitcoin? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, just buy it now. <laughs> no <laughs> financial Dude, advice. No, you can like dollar cost average your way into Bitcoin and stuff. But I, I would not like, I don't know. I don't want to give you any financial advice or whatever. But I would not. Uh, I would not sleep well if I didn't own crypto. Uh, no, so, yeah, that's just personal. And the last thing I wanted to say is the Elizabeth Warren thin thing. So she says cryptocurrencies risk undermining sanctions against Russia, allowing Putin and his cronies to evade economic pain, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and such a she, she just wants to regulate crypto and that's fine. And I, I understand her position. It's not a weird position to have, but it just shows some ignorance because this guy, yeah, Jake Shervinsky, it's just uh, providing all of the counter arguments over here. So you can read these. Uh, you can read these still. Sorry, I didn't show the screen. But you can read these still. So oh. this is her argument, right? And this is these are his arguments. So I suggest you guys read this because they're in the comment section below. Uh, in the description, sorry. So cryptocurrencies risk undermining sanctions against Russia, allowing Putin and his cronies to evade economic pain. Uh, we need to take this threat seriously and increase their scrutiny of digital assets. And uh, then it links to a New York Times article and then says it could use crypto. So it's all a bit, yeah, yeah, they could, you know, yeah, pigs could fly. Yeah, they could if they had wings. But you know what I mean? Like, every, it's not that realistic um, because no. of all of these arguments. So how sanctions work, how crypto markets work and how Putin is actually trying to mitigate sanctions. Um, yeah. So, you know, this guy also says very uh, concerns about crypto's use for sanctions evasion are totally unfounded. They fundamentally misunderstand this and this and this. So I agree with this, Jake, dude. And yeah, so I think after all we've seen today, I think crypto is a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah, let's recap Uniswap actually helping, you know, Unchain Ukraine actually helping uh, these Ukraine DAO. Uh, donations it's it, it, th this thing we have to this guy actually being an absolute yeah, legend there's so a lot of stuff happening you know a I lot of it. money i love it. it all of this money is coming from random crypto investors guys so i don't want to hear that the whole crypto space is toxic and stuff maybe some parts are of course but if you see this stuff you know and it all goes to ukraine yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't think that's toxic at all. So <laughs> we are growing up. The space is maturing. It is actually a good thing uh, to see. I like it. That's the way it should be, if you ask me. So, yeah. yeah. That's all I had to say. Peace. <laughs> okay. So like the video, subscribe, all that shit. And yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye. Check, check, check. check out the Discord. Check out the Discord. Bye-bye.